everybody. I hope your day is going good. Just wanted to come on here and give you guys um, an update on uh, Bitcoin and some of the geopolitics. So I want to start off with um, with Hong Kong as it seems to be getting pretty pretty heated over there with the, the protesters being harassed by the Hong Kong police force, maybe Chinese police force at this point. Um, going as far as uh, entering universities um, and, and things like that where they're basically kind of barricaded because a lot of these protesters are trying to be arrested and uh, basically disappeared by the police. I mean, we're talking about police officers that tell them they're celebrating the deaths of their colleagues, that they call them cockroaches, that you don't deserve to live, or you know, all kinds of stuff like that, that it just obviously shows you and it shows them the amount of respect they have for them and, and what they uh, kind of treatment they're going to receive from the Chinese government, the Chinese police, and the Hong Kong uh, police that has now been taken over by, by the mainland China. And uh, yeah, so it just, you know, the way it looks, it just looks like, <clears throat> like this is war. I mean, I don't even know what Donald Trump is doing at this point, trying to negotiate uh, trade deals with China. He should just let this uh, drag out longer and let uh, companies, U.S. companies and other global companies just remove themselves from mainland China. <clears throat> it's not even cheap to manufacture anymore. Um, and they get all their technology stolen and all kinds of stuff they're at risk. I don't even know why we're still doing business with them, but you should just continue this thing dragging on and dragging on and uh, give the, the businesses basically, you know, kind of like a t time to, to get out of there and go to Vietnam or go to other Southeast Asian markets that can produce the same type of stuff that we're producing in China, but they got to get out of China because the power that they have left China with all these uh, manufacturing hubs over the years and now it's just uh, we can see what that power and that money has has brought it's it, it's it's a liability it's a liability for its own people but it's definitely a liability for freedom and democracy worldwide uh, because it's, it's I mean if you really do your research you'll see how there's uh, there's confusion communist uh, clubs in universities all around the world so they're trying to spread this type of uh, mentality and they're trying to degrade the, 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 the faith-based groups around the world and basically trying to make people more and more like them instead of, well, instead of like the rest of the world, you know, which is, well, I mean, maybe not the rest of the world, but a lot of the Western world that is still free, has a lot of freedoms and has a lot of democratic values, um, you know, they, they want to take that away because they want their worker class, they want their slave class, and everybody else is um, is dead, I mean, unless you serve as a some sort of uh, organ harvesting product. Um, that's pretty harsh, but that's the truth. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what the U.S. is doing trading, uh, trying to make deals with China. This is, this is ridiculous, you know, unless the regime comes down like the Hitler regime did in, in Nazi Germany, this thing should just... You know, we should just remove ourselves from this area of the world and let them let them deal with themselves. If they seem to be uh, doing uh, bad stuff around our other trading partners, and then maybe we have a, a reason to, to get in there and with more backing from other countries once they see that the, this stuff, this, these people, they're they're not going, they're not going to change the way they work. So, because of all of this stuff, is definitely creating a lot of. Um, disruptions in the global economic uh, trade infrastructure and uh, causing uh, a lot of fiat currencies to be destabilized because of the uncertainty and so that's why you see the precious metals and obviously real estate and things like that have been going up uh, that's where the cash the fiat has been going into and um, also since the since the system broke down in 2008 9 uh, when bitcoin was started to my point that Bitcoin is one of those assets that's been receiving a lot of that fiat cash. And the people that buy Bitcoin, they understand they understand what the product is. And, you know, the public leisure, they understand its immutability, its, its safety, uh, its public access. They understand all of this, uh, its uncorruptibility. And so, I mean... 
this is a system that can possibly, possibly, I mean, if not uh, some other crypto, but Bitcoin seems legit and it's been adopted. Um, I don't know what else could possibly save uh, the world economy from a, from a, a actual total um, fracturing where you have different regions of the world doing trade with each other and uh, not necessarily the rest because of, uh, you know, because of the breakdown. It's too far, distances are too far, you know, too much corruption, people won't trust. So, again, if you haven't looked into Bitcoin, if you're still looking at Bitcoin and not sure if you want to buy any, you have to remember, guys, this is not something that you're just buying because it's fun and you might make some money off of it. This is a fundamental, you know, a fundamental tool that's going to help you as it has helped people in Venezuela, as it has helped people in Hong Kong and China, in different parts of the world, the Middle East, it has helped them uh, live through these situations by being able to convert it for cash, for food, or just to be able to get out of the country because other more stable countries uh, will accept it and you'll be able to get some sort of favors done. So this is a major tool. I mean, this is almost as valuable, if not more, than having some sort of AK-47, uh, you know, gun rights, you know, protection type of stuff. Uh, this is, I mean, the, Bitcoin is the AK-47 of financial system, and they are trying to make it legal. Uh, but, but I don't, I don't see it happening. You know, I really, I really do see it that way. I'm gonna let you guys go. Leave you with that. Think about it a little bit, bit how important Bitcoin is for your security. Um, again, if you like my content and want to hear more about this type of stuff uh just like and subscribe and i'll continue updating you guys with these similar topics geopolitics bitcoin uh, and some economics and some trading if you guys want to follow me on twitter go ahead and follow me on twitter it's uh at jose l barragan and uh you'll see a lot of my updates there same topics same type of stuff i kind of am more active on there this is usually the summary of my activity on there from the last few days um, all right, guys, take it easy.